Hey guys, my name's Alan, welcome back. Sorry I had to take a week off, but I'm back and this week I'm going to look at eye replacement. Billie Eilish came out with a new video in which she has black eyes. So let's go. Open up After Effects, import and create the comp of the footage you're going to use. First thing I'm going to do is create a new solid layer. Choose black for the colour and then draw a mask around the shape of the eye. Next, we'll need to track the eye. Now, I tried mocha and just tracking but it didn't work. So the best way I found was tracking the eye and then stopping the track when he blinked. Then moving forward a few frames and repeating the process. Don't worry if your track moves when he blinks as we're only going to apply the track data to a null object. Once you hit edit target and select null object and then click apply, we'll be able to go back and delete the track points we didn't need. Before we apply the track data to the black eye layer, make sure the anchor point is set to 0, 0. Then, parent the track data to the black solid. This should now stick to the eye. But you'll notice it doesn't look quite right, as we'll need some reflections. Duplicate the original clip and create a mask over the light reflection. And right click, time and freeze frame this. Make sure that this reflection is above the black eye. Last thing to do is add a bit of feather to the mask. It'll make it fit better. Duplicate the original clip again and mask the eyelid coming down and up to cover the black eye. Make sure that this is above everything. Last thing we need to do is add a room reflection in. Duplicate the black eye, import an image of a room, turn it to 3D and rotate it 180 degrees. Place this under the black eye duplicate. Parent it to the track data and, and select alpha max. Turn the opacity down to around about 10% to make it blend better. This will use the mask from the black eye solid for the room reflection. Last thing I'm gonna do is just add a few more things to make the eye more realistic. First thing I'm gonna do is add a Gaussian blur and change it to 3.4%. Then add a glow effect and change color A to yellow and increase the intensity to 10. This will give the eye a pop. Don't forget to add motion, don't forget to add motion blur by clicking here, here, and here. And you're done. It's that simple. That's it for me this week. As always, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next week.